Alex, what is a two-player RPG? It sounds like a silly question, but I feel like there's more to it than meets the eye. We often think of RPGs as having a GM and then maybe three to five players. So when we talk about two-player RPGs, we're either talking about something where there's one GM and one player, which is kind of a certain design mode that I can talk yeah. a bit about, or just two players and the game where there isn't the GM player dynamic and you're playing a game together, just the two of you. So some good examples of one player, one GM games would be like, to me, the, a big cornerstone of that genre is Murderous Ghosts by Vincent and McGay Baker, the, the Apocalypse World folks. So that was a game that was really, really deliberately designed to be one player, one GM. One, the player plays someone who is in basically like a haunted environment and the GM is a bunch of ghosts and things chasing after them. That one's really interesting because there is a certain intimacy to horror, right? Like knowing what scares a particular person, but often what is the, the scariest situations are the ones where we're alone. And so you both have like this intense intimacy in the game and also the sense of like isolation. So that's incredible. Pelgrane Press has put out a bunch of like one player, one GM versions of their other games. So if you know Cthulhu, Confid um, Cthulhu Confidential, that's their like, uh, Trail of Cthulhu one-on-one, -on -one. Uh, Knights Black Agents has a one-on-one -on -one version, and I think I think Gumshoe has a one-on-one -on -one version. Anyway, they're doing a bunch of them, and yeah. it's 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 really really smart to be like, technically you can probably play any GM'd RPG with one player, and I totally encourage you to do because you will find interesting things about playing one-on-one. -on -one. So there's that, and then there's making games that are specifically tailor-made with the assumption that this is going to be just two people and taking advantage of the affordances of a one-on-one -on -one conversation. I, th I think that's a, a fant fascinating introduction to the topic. I now have a party of 10 players, completely different experience to, you know, a cool. duet campaign. But yeah, the, the stark contrast between even playing a game that is intended for a party and pairing that down to one GM and one player, it's an extraordinary intimate experience. The two-player RPG space is, is a very intimate space, correct? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I think inherently. When people are one-on-one, -on -one, it's easier to be honest about yourself. And you also can kind of spend all of your social perception attention on one person. And so you're both able to really pick up on stuff from the other person. And so, yeah, there's it's kind of an inherent intimacy to that. And it's easier to facilitate intimacy with two people. It's easier to do certain things with two people just because it's less complex. But the challenge, of course, is that with more people, you get more ideas. There's more content, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And so when you're thinking about RPGs, you also have to be thinking about how to scaffold and support players so that they can come up with stuff. Because if you have one GM and one player, the GM might be preparing, they might have a source book, they might be like a pre-established world, and they know it's kind of on them to bring stuff that the player can react to and respond to. But two players, then you're kind of saying like, okay, the two of you just put stuff out there. So I'm like really helping to give them some steps, right? As where sometimes, I'm sure you know with a group of 10, it's much more challenging to like rein in the contributions and the ideas. I love games about relationships and I love games in which people can learn things about themselves and about other players. And so a two-player RPGs are just kind of, kind of an easier shortcut, I find, <laughs> to doing that. And, um, and it's also, it's easier to play test because you just need one other person. It's actually kind of ironic. For a lot of people, it's easier to get a two-player game to the table because you just need one other person. If you're lucky enough to, say, share a house and perhaps a bed with someone who you play role-playing games with, then it's, like, great. Um, but for other people, it is in many ways harder to get to the table because of that intimacy. Especially, like, I like making games about big feelings, including romance and sexual intimacy as well. And so those things can be harder for people to talk about. So I feel like we're really talking about, like, in contrast to bigger RPGs. And that's the biggest contrast, is that that intimacy is there, which is both, like, an exciting enticement and also can be a barrier.